Hey there, it's Katrina Sawa here, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach with jumpstartyourmarketing.com. And I am bringing to you another video business tip here um, all about delegating and leveraging more in your business. And it's one of those things that when I say to entrepreneurs, oftentimes they just turn off. Like, oh, I don't need that because I'm doing it all myself. But I would urge you to stop. Stop and listen for just a few minutes. Uh, let me share with you some ideas on things that you or why you might want to delegate, okay? If you're not already doing it, or if you've tried and it hasn't really worked, there's a lot of reasons for that. You see, I've been delegating for about 14 years in my business, and when I first started, I had no idea what I'm doing, okay? I had no idea what I was doing. And I hired the wrong people. I would micromanage them. I would, you know, give them something and then watch them do it and then d redo it and stuff like that. I mean, I was horrible. I was a horrible trainer, boss, and oh, it was horrible. Um, but I had to learn how, from my mentors and other people that I hired, how they do it. And they had to learn from their mentors. I mean, a lot of us that are, have entrepreneurial blood in us, we're not necessarily HR consultants. We're not uh, the types of people that know how to necessarily train an employee, right? Or independent contractor is what most of us hire, right? So... Don't feel bad if you don't know how to do that, but you have to learn a little bit at least about how to do this so that you can leverage more in your business. Why leverage? How are you ever going to take a vacation? How are you going to actually, you know, what happens if you have to get have surgery? I've had three different surgeries in the last four years. My husband's had five surgeries and cancer and radiation and chemo in the last three years. And without having a team we and systems in place and the and the a lot of the stuff being automated delegated and mar and systematized there is no way we would still have been able to make money while we were down and out or i was helping him and whatnot in our lives um, you just can't you don't know what's on the future and on the horizon for you you don't know if something's going to happen to you or a loved one and you might have to take care of them and i've had clients who haven't hadn't even taken vacations in like 3 to 5 years of being in business Okay, and some even tell me that they haven't taken a vacation the whole time they've been in business, and that's almost seven years. I just heard the other day from a gal. I'm like, oh my God, there's no way. I am not going to go a year without at least one pretty long vacation, if not multiple vacations and now and or long weekends and stuff. There's no way I'm going to do that from here on out because life is too short and I need to have fun too. Okay. And so do you. So as an entrepreneur, we have to start embracing delegating. <clears throat> and luckily there's people out there that like to work from home and called virtual assistants. And for most of us, that will suffice for a lot of the things we need to hire. Now, some of you might have a brick and mortar location or a retail store or something like that where you need people in your location. And I get that. And that's more of an employee status, right? So I'm talking about the people that you might want to hire as a, a contractor, an independent contractor, somebody that has their own business yet works for a few different entrepreneurs possibly doing different tasks. All virtual assistants, however, are not created equal. They do all different things and have different specialties for each of them. So it's important that you get a list of things together of what you want to delegate. You can't just say, okay, I'm ready to hire an assistant. Just get me an assistant. No, because you're not going to probably just hire one person. Unfortunately, if you have anything technology in your business whatsoever that you might need help with, you're going to need a technology person as well as possibly an admin or customer service person or somebody to do other things in your business because the technology people are not going to pick up the phone and call your customers. They're not going to do follow-up phone calls. They're not going to stuff and mail your envelopes if you're mailing something. They're not going to necessarily write content or do your filing or do all these other things that you potentially might need in your business and your office. <clears throat> Now, those types of people, the admin types or um, customer service type of people are definitely probably don't know about your WordPress website or your Weebly website or your shopping carts or your email marketing system or opt-in boxes or even social media ins and outs and YouTube and videos and technology stuff, right? So you can see that you need probably at least two people. That doesn't mean, though, you're paying double, 
right? You're only paying these independent contractors for the time that they work for you, the hours that they spend working for you. You might only need somebody a couple hours a month. Okay, it could be under $100 to delegate something. Stop waiting to delegate. Get stuff off your plate that you know you're not going to do. You don't need to learn. You don't want to learn. You don't want to figure out. You don't want to know, right? Now, you have to know the big picture of why you need to implement certain strategies and things in your business, but that doesn't mean you have to learn everything. There's too much to learn as it is an, as an entrepreneur, right? <clears throat> don't try to do everything. I tell you, this is going to be the smartest move you make if you figure out how to delegate better, right? And I put together a checklist because I've been doing this for a long time. I have about 43 different things on this checklist and I add to it all the time of all the different things that you could potentially delegate uh, to an assistant or some person other than you in your business. It could be virtual or in person, okay? So take a look at this checklist. I'm telling you, it will help open your eyes to what else is possible. Take it, copy it into a Word document, add some of the things that you're doing that may not be on the list, delete some of the things that you don't need in your business that might not be like mine, right? But it'll get you started. And then I show you in this... Uh, in this PDF, it's a free report kind of thing with a checklist in it and a couple steps here on what to do next once you make the list and how to really get those people in place, where to find them, etc. I would love for you to go get this delegating checklist. It is so helpful. Go to jumpstartyourteam.com. That's team, like a baseball team. Jumpstartyourteam.com right now. It's absolutely free. Just enter your information and I will see you soon. Okay. Have a great day, everyone. Please start delegating. Life is so much better with a team.